Hey Husqvarna, Craftsman, I fixed it for you. Let's make something. Hey everybody, welcome back to the ranch. So, remember the last time I pulled this out? Uh, it had a uh, noisy bearing. I looked online and I couldn't really find any like an exploded diagram of this particular model. I found some similar to it and everything else. Nothing really good enough drawings to determine what's actually in there. Um, so, I'm just gonna take it apart. It's just bearings, right? That's a jelly bean part. Well, let's have a look. I gotta get something to get that zerk fitting off so I can tap it out. Let's see here. Put it back on. Come on, there we go. All right. Okay. This is important. If you're going to have to tap on a shaft, use a brass hammer or a block of wood or something. Never hit a shaft with a steel hammer. You will booger that thing up quicker than nothing. It's out. Oh, look. Paint brushed never sees. Let's get all the grass off of it first. Yum. Why did they put never sees on the shaft? Jeez, whatever. It's not rusty, so there's not water incursion. Okay. Yeah. All right, this is not a sealed bearing. That's good. Has it not been getting grease? Let me get my big sexy hat out of the way. And great, I lost it. Where'd it go? There it is. The bottom one wasn't a sealed bearing, but this one is in a housing with a cavity for grease. There's a sealed bearing in the top. This is this is just lazy engineering that's all this is lazy engineering let's let's build it so we know that it will fail so you'll have to buy parts what would it have cost them to not use a sealed bearing i'm oh i'm done no i'm not done because I, I gotta cut the grass. You see this? The grease comes out of the hole here. It doesn't go all the way through the shaft. But how is the top bearing supposed to get grease? Engineers, boy, I tell you what. They think they know everything. I would never do this to a product. A machine that people have to depend on. Let's see if I can get the numbers off of it because I will inevitably have to replace this. But maybe I can make it last a little longer. Oh no, my hands are gonna get dirty. And it's too rusty to tell. Well, that's it. It's too rusty to tell. Why is that so rusty? And the shaft isn't rusty. The other bearing isn't rusty. That tells me that it was a bad one put in from the factory. I'm very disappointed. I'm very, look, all right, I'm very disappointed. I don't know who built what, but I think Husqvarna built, built this for Craftsman, and Craftsman branded it. Um, I'm disappointed. I really am, man. I don't think I'm a Husqvarna fanboy anymore. I'm already kind of ticked off that this tractor has a plastic transaxle. Who thought that was going to be a good idea? Can't keep axle seals in it. And now this? 
Guys, you gotta step up your game. All right, well, I have to mow, so I have to put it back together. I'm, I'm just, I am, I am so let down. This is nothing but, this is poor craftsmanship, poor engineering. I'm, I'm just disappointed, completely disappointed. Oh, here comes Jake. What's up, buddy? Come here, look at this. Let's see what you think oh. about it. So there's the top bearing. What's wrong with this picture? See any grease on that bearing? No, because you can't grease it. It's a sealed bearing. True story. But what I think I can do... I'm going to pop the seal out of one side. Alright, so the solution for this is I pop the dust cover off the inside of the bearing. So it will go inside, so be facing the inside. Hopefully it'll get some lubrication. There's not much left in there. I'm going to make sure that it gets some before I get it back together. That should make it last a little longer. My hands are sweaty and these are too small. Whatever, that'll... Really? I'm just gonna take a little bit of grease and work it in. Heck, that already feels better. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Pixie's under the table. All right, that's just what I have to do the trick. Gloves. Why do I wear gloves? Oh, he's wearing gloves. He ain't a real mechanic. <laughs> I wear gloves because I like to touch my wife. Brass hammer again. Hopefully this will have some stiction so I don't have to I'll grease the crap out of the line get it together. Uh, now this guy. is noisy. Hey Husqvarna, Craftsman, I fixed it for you. I guess I better do the rest of these while I got it apart. Chinesium grease zerks. Guaranteed to round off no matter how you do it. This is ridiculous. No wonder why it was so hard to grease. I greased this about I don't know, every, every two times I mow, I'll just reach in there and put about three or four squirts of grease in them. It's always really hard. I think possibly the grease fittings were painted shut. Paint will clog grease fitting. All right, pro tip. If you have a mandrel with a grease fitting in the end of the shaft like this, and you can't get it out, like I couldn't get this one out, you know, namely because it's made of Chinesium, um, put the nut back on about halfway, halfway through the nut, right? Put an impact socket on it, give it a tap, and that shaft will pop right out without damaging the grease fitting. Well, one important thing I forgot to mention. Um, Steve's small engine repair, is that what it is? I think so. Is this the old guy that drinks beer while he's fixing lawn equipment? Um, he kind of tipped me off to how there are sealed bearings in mandrels. I'm glad to see that the bottom bearing wasn't a sealed bearing on mine. I'm disappointed that the top one was. And I, I took his advice. I forgot where I got that from, and my lovely wife reminded me that we watched that video like uh, a week ago. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Anyway, I'll leave a link to that video down at the bottom uh, to give you, you know, give Steve some credit. Um, one thing I. I do. I would criticize Steve about is using a hammer on a shaft. Uh, the hard face hammer, don't do that. Use a brass hammer. Use a dead blow. Use a block of wood. Um, you can take. You can use a piece of rubber. You can take your belt and fold it two or three times and use that. Never hit a shaft directly with a with a hard face hammer. The reason why isn't necessarily that you'll booger up the shaft because you will. Uh, the real danger is uh, that's cold rolled steel. It's very hard, and if you hit it too hard, it can actually chip a piece off 
it's going to be screaming hot and it will go into your fleshy body and cause all kinds of problems so don't do that I think it's Steve the tool oh. saloon. Steve's like small engine saloon. That's yeah. it. That's it. I would I would look it up like most people in 2019, but we don't really have internet out here. And I don't feel like putting my phone in the window and waiting for it to catch an LTE link and I go looking for it, so there it is. Life in the boonies. Gotta love it. Well that seems to have done the trick. I filled all, ma all three mandrels with grease. I took the seals out of the, all three of the top bearings on the inside, uh, greased them up, put them back together, filled them and filled the housing full of grease uh, and I mowed the yard and it looks good. Um, and <laughs> it's a lot quieter now. It doesn't bog down as easy in high grass. See, hot bearings are tight. They're hard to turn. So you're welcome Husqvarna and Craftsman whoever came up with that harebrained idea. I fixed it for you, you owe me one. Sometimes I could slap some engineers. If you like this kind of thing, hit like and subscribe. And as always, be good, do good, and do the best you can with what you got.